guest tonight plays Johnny Sack on the hit HBO series The Sopranos. He can also be seen regularly on the NBC series Third Watch, and he's starring in the play Baptism by Fire. It's Studio Dante right here in New York City. Please welcome Vince Curatola. <laughs> Now, Vince, I gotta ask you something. Uh, I, I never miss an episode of The Sopranos. Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people, I'm watching the show this season and I'm thinking, this guy's getting whacked, you know? <laughs> you're on, you get on Tony's back, you're giving him a hard time. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous every time the, the, the new script comes in? They're gonna, you're gonna thumb through the script? Yeah, sure, because you know, the, the script gets FedEx to your house. Right. If you're not working that there, they put it in your trailer. And you'll do everything to avoid opening it up and reading it. Right. Maybe I'll have another cup of coffee. Maybe I should go get the mail. I don't right, know. Right. You know, whatever. And uh, because you're, you know, it's not about getting whacked. Because you would get a telephone call from David Chase a couple of weeks before. Oh, he'd, tell, he'd prepare he would say, you. But yeah. there's always, there can always be something in there that's going to change the direction of your, your character right. drastically. Right. And that's kind of what you worry about. You know, right. like. Another bathroom scene. You know, I was going to say, a couple, <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I'm watching the show, and for no reason, out of left field, suddenly, your character mm -hmm. is talking to Tony, and you're sitting on the toilet smoking a cigarette. Exactly right. With, with no door in the stall. Right, exactly. Yeah. Classy joint, by no, the way. Absolutely. Classy absolutely. joint. I've heard that, that as an actor, you, you're, you're obviously very good at what you do. You. you take it seriously. You approach your character as an animal. Mm -hmm. you, you try and visualize... Johnny Sack as an animal, what kind of uh, animal do you... He's do you a python. Python. He's a python, because okay. uh, they, they dress Johnny Sack very well on the show. And if you look at a python, you look at a Burmese python, they usually have great markings, so that's the clothing. And the idea being that, say, in a meeting with Tony Soprano and Johnny Sack, you know, I want to get Tony as comfortable as possible because we have mutual benefits financially. Right. And, you know, let him relax, relax, relax. And what happens with a python is, you know, he'll come over close, 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 you're looking somewhere else. Before you know it, half of your arm is in his mouth. Right. And that's right. what the snake does. And that's, you know, when it gets you nice and relaxed and then begin to swallow you. Yeah. Or if you're Walker, Texas Ranger, it's in the seat next to you in your car. And it <laughs> jumps that. out at you. I saw that. Yep. It's hard to miss. Exactly. I'm not going to keep going with that. Um, <laughs> Now, see, that's a good uh, visualization of what you were just talking about. <laughs> you, um, what, what, you also look at the other actors that you're working with as animals. Uh, so the character Tony Soprano, what, what animal do you think uh, he is? He's a grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. He's definitely a grizzly when bear. When, when Tony Soprano comes at you in a meeting, you have two choices, either become food mm -hmm. or run away. So right. I picture him as a grizzly bear. Right. Now, what about if I was an actor... Uh, and be, I'm, I'm, I, want to, I want you to seriously, what, what animal would I be, do you think? Uh, prairie dog. <laughs> do you have a problem with that, Conan? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't, Mr. Kiratoa. <laughs> you scare me, even though you're an actor. I'm still scared of you. Uh, so, a you're, prairie, prairie you're a dog, prairie why, dog. why prairie well, dog? Well, you're very quick when you move. You're very quick, and they move very quickly. And you could be, let's say, you're at that end of your desk, and you're here, and then all of a sudden you're, you're down, and we don't really see you real close, and then, <laughs> then you're up again, and that's what prairie dogs So I'm do. like a nervous, ratty... <laughs> I didn't want to it's say It's very demeaning. <laughs> no, it's I'm just saying, I can't hear. Don't wait that long. Come on. Wait that long. It is true. But they're very cute creatures. They're cute. Thank you. Anytime. I'm cute. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself Thank now. You. <laughs> it's another show. Um, we're doing that one tomorrow. Uh, there's, you know, I've, I've, we, we've had. Uh, uh, cast members from The Sopranos here before, and I always end up bringing this up, but I can't help but notice when I watch the show, I think every other scene involves eating. Oh, and yeah. it looks like amazing food. Mm -hmm. As an actor, mm -hmm. what's it like when you... I mean, a lot of your day is sitting down to this incredibly delicious-looking Italian exactly. food. Exactly. Well, you know, you start the day off with a master shot, the camera's far away, and they, they, they show you eating. And I, my record so far has been, uh, I believe, eight dozen 
clams or regonata. That's about seven or eight o'clock in the morning. Really? Chasing that down with grape juice to look like wine. Right. Uh, another one was um, three double cut veal chops stuffed with cheese uh -huh. and, and uh, some kind of vegetable right. in a meeting with Jimmy uh, Gandolfini. Right. And uh, eight dishes of ziti. And you eat constantly. <laughs> but you have because to. Because they say cut, let's try it again, and then cut. you gotta. Right. You need the camera angle, so you need the same amount of food on the plate as you had before. Right. But the funny part is, the real kicker is that we eat. Our caterers are ready for us every six hours while right. we're working. So for some phenomenal reason, once you've done all this on camera, you say, great, what did he make? Let's have some of that. Let's have... And you actually eat. <laughs> so you take it's, a break from doing that, and then you go and eat a lot of yeah, food. Yeah, you see, you're power eating for the scenes, right? and then you're eating for yourself during the breaks. I just know that I have to watch the show on a full stomach, because uh. if, I, if I don't, if I'm ever hungry, you don't want to be watching The Sopranos, no. because it looks delicious. No, we make you hungry, and a lot of people tell me that I make them smoke, which is not a good thing, but I guess there's something in there that uh, is I won't, vis I won't, visceral. I won't use a toilet with a stall now. No, after seeing absolutely it. not. No. I've created a whole new trend. It's a whole new fad. Absolutely. It, it's called riding bareback. Now listen. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Before we go, I always like to exploit a special talent. I understand you have one that, that people don't know about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wiggle my right ear. How do you only wiggle one ear? I tried both. Uh, it was a compromise. It okay. was either that or blow my head off. So I, I, I settled with the one. Can we see the one ear I'm gonna go? I'm going to try. Let's see. Is it, is it moving? It's moving quite barely. Oh, my God. There it goes, right there. It's going to go on my resume from now on. Check too, this out. <laughs> what a wonderful way to end the segment. <laughs> um, well, I got to mention a few things. The Sopranos okay. air Sunday nights at 9 on HBO. Mm -hmm. and I'm trying to get the word out on that. Uh, ba <laughs> Baptism by Fire is at Studio Dante right here in New York City. Sure. And the Stars and Strikes charity softball game will be on Saturday, May 22nd at Murray Bergdrum Park right here in New York City. Exactly. Sopranos cast playing uh, a lot of weird people. But Good. We'll, well have fun. Make some money. Hey, listen. My pleasure. Real honor having you here on the Thank show. You Good We'll take a break. Jamie Cullen when we come back. Stick around.